Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. If you're like most people, you have a drawer full of these puppies and you're not quite sure which AC adapter will power the device that you're looking for. Stay tuned and I'll decipher the code of the AC adapter. Hey, Dirt Farmer Jay here from DirtFarmerJay.com. Today we're gonna to talk about AC adapters and how to decode them. Before we do though, if you like the way that we teach and you like the way we approach, consider subscribing to our channel. And when you do, ring the bell and that way you'll get notified of new content approximately every Friday. Also, make sure you check out the description below because we always give you added bonus material and more detail than we're gonna cover in the video itself. Well, let's get to it. As we said, if you're like most people, you've got a lot of these AC adapters and you may have a battery powered device, some small device, that you're getting tired of changing out the batteries or you just like to use the consistency of a plug-in. But you go to the drawer and you got a bunch of AC adapters that got separated from the devices and now it's time to match the AC adapter to the device you wanna power up. Let's go through this step by step and give you each element you need to know to get the right adapter for the device. Well, first of all, let's talk about what these are called and what they are doing. It's called an AC adapter because it's adapting AC power, alternating current power, to DC power, which is direct current. You kind of remember the old band name, AC-DC? Well, it's a good way to remember it. All right, the first factor to consider is the input power. In this case, this is used for North America this is 110 to 120 volt standard outlet power. So it's gonna be uh, all the way up to 250 volt as well, uh, depending on the plug configuration. But one thing that's gonna be on the AC adapter is the input power that tells you what's going into this. And in this case, input on this is AC 100 to 240 volts, 50 to 60 Hertz power which is pretty standard in North America. For our European and other parts of the world, power supplies are gonna be different there, but it's gonna tell on the device here what the input power is. That's the first thing you need to know that using right input power. Now that power is generally alternating current. Small devices like this label printer don't use AC power. They use direct current and that's what allows them to run either on batteries, which are DC, or the power that comes out of the correct AC adapter. So it needs to convert to DC power. The second thing you need to know on the AC adapter is what is coming out of this adapter when it's outputting power. So here we go, output here is DC, direct current, nine volts and 1.6 amps right here on there. So this has told you what power goes in what power goes out. The third thing you need to know is polarity. That is which way the power flows. And generally speaking, all of these devices have a little polarity code or diagram that you see right here. And all you need to know, because they're gonna appear differently, it's gonna show a plus, a minus, sometimes it may be the other way, minus, plus, but there's a little circle in the middle with an open side with a C around it, let's call it a C. Whatever side is open, pointed whatever symbol, tells you what polarity. So if you have a plus over here, a minus here, but the little ring opening is, past, is to the plus side, you have a positive polarity device. And the same is true on the other side, you have a negative. It's very important that you get the polarity correct because a lot of times if you put the wrong polarity, you're actually creating a dead short in the device. And if you plug in the wrong polarity, you may smoke your device. And depending on the device and the quality and the price point of it, it may have a little fuse in it that blows first before frying the circuit, or it may take out the whole circuit. Just better to get it right to begin with. The fourth thing you need to know is the tip itself. And really what you're concerned with here, just so you know what you're looking at, one side of the tip has either power flowing out of it or back into it, that's where polarity comes in. And then the inside of the tip is insulated or separated from the outside barrel. So you've got power inside here and uh, the return here or power flowing out of this side and the return in there. That, as I said, is polarity. 
But the main thing you're looking for is the tip matching the port that the device that you're powering. So there's the port, there's the tip that matches it. Now, how do you know though that this device matches this device? Well, you can see the codes on this side, but is there any information on the device you're putting in there? Typically, yes. And in this case, right there, it'll show what the power that's going in here. And you can see this is saying DC power in seven to nine volts. And the way the polarity um, symbol shows, it is a negative polarity um, device. So the AC adapter needs to match that. And when you look right here, this is putting out uh, nine volts. So it says seven to nine volts input, so we're within range, and it's a negative polarity. So these two match, and I cheat, I kind of label them. That might be something you want to do, so I can always match them when I need to. So I can always put these two together. All right, now, there's one other thing you might consider, and is if you've got a bunch of devices and you don't want to go through the hassle of labeling all these or matching them up, or worse yet, you lost them, then you can check out a universal adapter. We provided a link down below that you can go down and just click on that and buy it online. And what a universal adapter does, it takes in standard input power from the country that you're in. So in the United States, again, 110 volt up to 250 volt, depending on the plug configuration, 50 to 60 uh, uh, hertz power. And then you can slide the selector up and down of what power output it's going to be. And then at the end of the device right here, there's a modular section that you change the tips for two reasons. One is the size of the barrel to fit the device you need. And secondly, there's differing polarities to match what device needs you have. So you can fix it either way, either figure it out with what you got, or you can buy this device below at the link we supplied. So hopefully you found that to be helpful, how to demystify AC adapters. Another thing that's really helpful around the home are basic electrical testers. Check out this video here, where we'll tell you about two testers you gotta have, and we throw in a bonus third one that every homeowner should have to safely work with electricity. And then check out this other video that YouTube thinks you're interested in. Until the next time, this is Dirt Farmer Jay from DirtFarmerJay.com.